Well, hello, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're gonna have a fantastic, just a great weekend. I know weekends and weekends are the best. Let's talk about it. Some more news out of AZ, the AZT location. Some big things, some big things. Let's get right into it and let me break it down. Coming from the Gateway Pundit, more AZ ADT updates. Over 60% of the balloons counted and analyzed. 1.3 million completed. A lot of people in my comment section say, well, whoa, what's the point of a recount? Guys, either watch the full videos when I post the video or do some research. The first process is the recount of the balloons and then they analyze them, they check the paper, they check the signatures, they check the people behind the signatures, they check authenticity, everything. When was it cast? Did it actually come in from overseas or is it? They analyze them, they do a full forensic ADT. And for those of you who support, thank you for the great comments that uplift me and get me going. All right, sorry, enough about me, let's get into this. On Thursday morning, the Gateway Pundit received two more huge updates on the historic AZADT, also known as America's <clears throat> ADT. As the Gateway Pundit reported earlier, Georgia lawmakers are heading to Arizona next week to tour the location and replicate the AZADT in Georgia. Steve Bannon announced this on his show this morning. Additionally, this morning, the Maricopa AZ ADT Twitter page reported that they had surpassed counting over 60% of the 2.1 million balloons flown. Christina Bob then reported on OAN that they passed 1.3 million also counted. Just a few days prior, on May 31st, they had reported 50% of the balloons were completed. Now, not only have they, you know, recounted the balloons, but they analyzed this number also. It's completely finished, so they got them in, in the pile, dollar store to good quality. You know what I mean? The pace is ramping up, and they are nailing this process down. It looks like Georgia could be the third domino to fall. On Wednesday, former special assistant to President Trump, Boris Epstein, told the War Room audience the freight, the freight train of ADTs is traveling across the country. Choo-choo! Arizona, Pennsylvania, Georgia. Who's next? Guys, the fact that Pennsylvania went out there. Now, Georgia's going out there. It just confirms they've made their decision. We're going to do this. And we're not going to learn from New Hampshire. <laughs> the truth always wins. The truth prevails. Every lie exposed, the truth revealed and brought to light. In Christ's name, guys, thank you so much for your love, for your support. What this means today, the quick breakdown... It's moving. Nothing can stop the truth. The Bible even talks about it. The Bible talks about that the truth prevails. That the truth always wins. That when light enters a, a room, darkness flees, which is lies, which is deception, which is nothing that is done in secret. There's nothing that is done in secret that will not be revealed in the light. The Bible says that. That no matter whether you come to the Father in prayer in secret, He rewards you in front of people, in public. We know that. And we also know that the hidden things come re will be revealed sooner or later. Everything. Guys, just live an honest life. Mr. and Mrs. Politician, just live an honest life. Why did you get into politics? For all of those that don't want better for the people why did you get into politics just blows my mind it's like getting a construction job 
but wanting to cook food. What? Over there, barbecuing big pieces of two by fours and studs and plywood. Get out of here. I cut down trees, I don't plant them. That's what I do. Imagine if someone calls me up, hey, come down, cut down one of my trees, okay? I show up and plant a tree in his front yard instead of removing the tree he wanted gone. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me that they're trying to do. But remember, every truth, every lie exposed, truth revealed. Guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't so yet. Leave a comment down below. Guys, next week I'm going to be in Wisconsin at the Mega Frank rally. It's going to be awesome. CPAC 2021 Dallas, Texas. Your boy, 99.999%, I will be there. Through the whole event, I'm just praying that God opens the door. If you guys would like to support that, please. Merch store link down below. Please check it out. Free shipping on all t-shirts. Everything's under 25 bucks. That's the only thing holding me back. Help your boy out. God bless you guys. You know I love you. Better's not good enough. The best is yet to come. I'll see you guys in just a bit.